And welcome back. Check this out. This is the debris that crews were pulling out of the Grand River today. Parts of trees, docks, even a picnic table all found stuck underneath the Fulton Street Bridge. And that bridge is vital to making sure that downtown Grand Rapids lights stay on. 24 Hour News Ace Ryan Takeo was there as they got into clearing all that debris. Consumers Energy has a lot of electricity running underneath this bridge. It powers most of downtown. But if you were here this morning and seeing how they were protecting it, it seemed like child's play. Let's get started. It's a similar concept to an arcade game on a much larger scale. Similar to what you'd see at Chuck E. Cheese's. You know, put a quarter in and see if you can hold it. Let's clamp down the top a little bit. There was a picnic table earlier, there was a part of a dock, there's all kinds of junk. Kent County crews pulled trees and debris this morning as MDOT engineers and consumers energy reps looked on. We'll do a visual inspection of our conduit. Uh, we are concerned. Officials don't want the debris to damage electrical lines that run under the Fulton Street Bridge. Those power much of downtown, but consumers de-energize those lines, bringing power downtown from other parts of the city. But that's a temporary fix. Now the focus on making sure the lines are okay. With the debris going down at such a fast rate through the river, we want to make sure that uh, there's no damage. You don't want it hitting and breaking that fiber optic in that power line, so we need to get that out of there as much as we can. That's the job of these crews, who carefully clawed trees out of the water, some that seem to have no end. And the machine operator has to do it all blind. He can't see what he's doing, so he's getting verbal commands. You want to slide him over this for a little more, you think? And at the end, there's no prize, except knowing you're trying to keep valuable resources safe. Consumers told us right now they think the lines are okay, but they'll find out for sure tomorrow. In Grand Rapids, Ryan Takeo, 24 Hour News 8. Engineers gonna have to do a ton of assessing all over West Michigan before buildings could be back in, bridges let open. It's a mess. It's the structural damage they have to watch out for.